A while ago, we made a video about how to write music for two guitars. Today, I'm going to show you how to write for one guitar. In this video, we're going to give you a few different methods that you can try out and it might help you get the sound that you want. The first tip I'm going to give you is that a lot of bands, a lot of guitarists seem to want to play riffs on higher strings and I can see the appeal because if you're a lead guitarist, then you're going to want to be quite a lot. And while that is appealing and it is physically gratifying to do, it doesn't always sound great. Especially if you've got one guitar. Especially if you've got one guitar, because then you have your bass who's doing the low end, and then you who's playing a solo up here, and who's filling this gap? It's like two bits of bread without any filling, it doesn't work. I would recommend writing riffs that are a little bit low down. So I would recommend writing more riffs on the, the lowest two strings. We have an example of Lenny playing a riff from his band. You will notice that he is always playing the lowest two strings, but what he is playing is technically still a riff. So here that is. That is from his lead single that's just come out. You can buy it on iTunes and shit, but don't because it's free on Bandcamp. It's not very good. I'll link it in the description. Joe wrote half of it, so he's bullshitting. <laughs> the next thing you could try is write something that merges a chord progression and a melody. This gives the effect of still being powerful while still taking segments out of the power to give the melody. It's a really weird thing to do, but it works kind of well. And here's an example of that. Next example is very similar, i.e. it's in the same vein of playing a backing and a melody at the same time, but it is done with a much cleaner sound. It's done for bands who maybe play lighter music, and it is a way of playing, of having a backing coming out of the guitar and a melody coming out of the same guitar. Open tunings work really well when you're trying to do this because it allows you to play all the notes like that. Like an open tune is basically where you can strum all these strings and it gives you a full chord. Say you're wanting to, to play your song in D major, you would tune your guitar to open D tuning and then you can just basically play around with it and have finger picking comes in handy when you're doing this so you can like play your root notes at the same time as your melody and that works really well. It is kind of difficult to do and master but once you have it sounds awesome. by me if you can't tell. Nah. That's why this is the best video in this series so far. The last tip that I'm gonna give you is really more for solo playing. So, Mr. Lead Guitarists, when it comes time for your solo, and if you are the only guitarist, you want to play high, and I get that for a solo playing high it works best because it enunciates your melodies better, but this is more of a tip for the bassists really. If you keep the bass at the same sound, you're missing a lot of the power that you could potentially be having. There's kind of a part of the section like we were on about earlier that you need to fill that a rhythm guitarist would be doing. Yeah, and if your bass is not kind of having that sound... If it's not fucking huge... Yeah, it sounds shit if it's not... If your bass is not fucking huge and massive, then it's gonna sound a little bit shit. I'm gonna show you two examples of this. The first one is going to be using like a clean bass sound and playing the bass th has the bassist has been playing throughout the song. The second example is where we've decided to beef up the bass. And by that, I don't just mean the sound. Yes, we have cranked the sound up, we've added distortion, we've added fills, we've make it sound we've made it sound fucking horrible, but we've also beefed up the playing as well. So Enjoy. Enjoy.
So those were just a few tips that will hopefully help you achieve the sound that you want with only one guitarist and make sure that you always sound big and powerful and strong with just one guitarist. If you want to see more from this series, then click around here somewhere. I don't know exactly where, just over here. Yep. And if you want to see our best of playlist, which is all the best videos that we've done, is that right, Lenny? Yes, it is. Yes, then click around here somewhere. Have a lovely day. Okay, bye.